Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials uh, FB, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. You completed, it looks like, uh, independent speaking practice test number 32. So let's take a look at this specific one. So what is better when preparing for an exam, studying alone or studying with a group? So let's go ahead and listen to your response. Without any doubt, when preparing for an exam, I prefer studying alone rather than studying with a group. Because, without any doubt, when preparing for an exam, I prefer studying alone rather than studying with a group. Because I can choose what time of the day I prefer studying, and also because I think I can get higher scores this way. Not bad. You got a very specific organization with your two supporting points in the beginning. You're also using advanced grammar. I like it. And you have very good parallel structure. <coughs> Excuse me. First, I can choose what time of the day to study. For example, in the morning, my brain is fresh. And I would say if I study alone, I can choose what time of the day I want to study. So maybe say that to help connect what you're saying back to the purpose of the... And I retain more information. Secondly, I think I can get higher scores this way because... So I think I can get a higher score if I study alone because... I need a quiet room to study effectively. For instance, when I have people around me, I get distracted very easily. Mm -hmm. For these reasons, I prefer to study by myself rather than study, studying with a group. Not bad. Again, I prefer to study rather than study. So you're, you're very good with your parallel structure, both in the beginning and at the end of your response. Uh, I think overall this was a pretty good response. So let's take a look at the rubrics. I can figure out your score here. I think delivery, not not bad. I can understand everything you're saying. You have a little bit of some pronunciation problems, but not enough to interfere in my meaning. You had good control of your language use, including vocabulary and grammar. Your topic development was organized, and you gave examples to explain your ideas. Wow. I think this is a good response. I'm going to put you at 3.3 out of 4, 26 points out of 30. This should be able to get you at least, uh, hopefully you'll get a score of four on this one on the TOEFL, so I think this is a good response.